Today I went to visit my truly best friend ever, my closest friend of over 30 years, my Angie. It's been some time since I had the chance to see her or talk to her. Me and Angie had been through everything together. Marriages, divorces, births, deaths. She was my closest confidant, my only confidant. I traveled to Casey County, Kentucky, a rural area, the place where Angie was born. Casey County is beautiful, almost as beautiful as my Angie. Farm after farm, hills, pastures. It's so peaceful there. I know Angie loves the peacefulness. My visit was on kind of a chilly day, but the sky was blue and the sun felt warm. When I got out of the car to go see Angie, the wind picked up and it's almost as though she was letting me know that she knew I was there. I felt a little nervous since it had been so long. I felt very nervous because of how I have to visit her now. My Angie was murdered on February 6, 2022 in Nicholasville, Kentucky by her husband, the man she loved and did everything for. He shot her multiple times in her home as her children hid, terrified, in a closet upstairs. That was just before he went to the pickup truck she bought him. It was parked in the driveway and killed himself with the same gun. Angie was a victim of domestic violence, a type of crime that happens all too often. A type of crime where those close to the victim see the red flags and the warnings, but are helpless to help the victim see the same. That was me, seeing and not being able to help, watching my best friend drift away and become sadder and sadder. We believed that she had finally had enough and said the most dangerous words a domestic violence victim can say, it's over, I'm done. If you haven't already, please take a listen to the three-part series, The Murder of Angela Owens Wooldridge, on the Murder Police Podcast now. I need everyone to know Angie was more than a news report or another domestic violence statistic. I want everyone to know how beautiful of a woman and a mother she was and that she did not deserve all the evil that he brought to her. I also want to continue the discussion on domestic violence to maybe make something good come from her death by helping another victim, even just one victim. I want them to leave a violent relationship safely. If you or a friend is potentially a victim of domestic violence, please contact your local law enforcement agency right away or the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233.